In what seems like another lifetime, Jelo Matkovic taught Croatian and Muslim children. Now he carries a gun and visits school only to call on Nikitsa the caretaker, an old friend. The classrooms where Jelo taught are now dormitories for Croatian soldiers defending Vitez. Today, his old friend needs comforting. His home has been destroyed and members of his family injured in a recent attack by Muslim forces. Jello's own house in the center of Vitez was hit by a tank shell, but he's philosophical about the damage. His wife and children were safe downstairs. Jello wasn't at home at the time. He was fighting in the trenches. He offered to lead us there. With the surrounding Muslim army less than 100 yards away in some areas, just reaching the front line is a hazardous exercise. Although both sides have some artillery and heavy weapons, the real battle for Vitez is being fought by infantry in World War I style conditions. At the closest point, the Muslim lines are less than 50 yards away. Near enough for Jello to know that some of those firing at him are his former pupils. I taught the students to read and write their first words. Now, look what it has come to. We are trying to kill each other. These are the people I tried to teach about human dignity, that there is no difference between nationalities. At different times, all sides involved in the Bosnian conflict have been guilty of aggression. Jello, the schoolteacher, blames greedy politicians and military leaders for turning neighbor against neighbor, but says he and his fellow Bosnian Croats have no choice but to defend their houses and families against their former friends. Vinko Pavlovich, a bus driver, told us until recently he was driving Muslim refugees to shelters in Croatia. Most of us in Vitez help the Muslims, he said. Now all the two communities trade is gunfire. While we were in the trenches, a Muslim sniper had the defenders of Vitez pinned down. A rocket-propelled grenade was used, but clearly missed the sniper's position. Jello, the teacher, dreams of returning to school and repairing his damaged house. But today, that dream seems further away than ever. There is absolutely no optimism here. After yesterday's decision by the Muslim-dominated Bosnian parliament to effectively reject the peace treaty, another hard winter and continued bloodshed seems inevitable. Paul Davis, News at 10, Vitez.